Hello, it's Indira from Indie Arts Creations. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate the support. Tonight I'm going to do an open cup pour and I'm going to use two colors. It's three colors. It's going to be a black negative space with just red and green. And that's why I said two because Sometimes I really don't count the negative space as a color. So, I'm going, the way I'm going to do this open pour is that I'm just going to pour the black right on the canvas and then put the cup on and then start pouring. Give me one sec though. I have a regular red. Um, and I'm going to maybe use a little of this darker red also. So, without further ado, I hope everyone is staying safe. So, this is an 11 by 14 canvas. And the black is Artist Law. The red, I would have to double check, but it will be in the description. I believe it's Anita's. The other red, well, the green, excuse me. The green is, I believe it's a sap green from Artist Loft. And then the deeper red, the crimson red, is from Master's Touch. So I'm not sure if you can see, but the colors are starting to pop out from under our cup. They are like really popping too, and they're forming uh, nice cells. So, what I may do is just add some black around, and I'm not going, I'm gonna put a little black in here, I'm not going to stretch it all the way, meaning um, I would love to keep some of these cells, so I'm going to tilt very slow, and then again, I'm not going to stretch them all out. What I could do, let me see, what I could do is start like another open them right here so we'll see we'll give it a whirl see how it goes I appreciate everyone that has been watching and sending me messages for those that know me um, I appreciate all the feedback and the support. I think I'm going to swirl that a little bit. Okay. And that's going to be that I put this other piece of wax paper down because I think I'm going to dry it over here. Let me see. Hopefully our torch should work. Uh -oh. This torch is so temperamental. I kind of feel like the torch is temperamental. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I did put more um, butane in it tonight. So, again, we're going to try to preserve as many of the cells but once the the cells kind of <laughs> left the canvas some um, before we even started tilting anyway I am going to still tilt very slowly here um, this was a request that someone wanted to see these colors together. Um, Patrice Johnson out of Philadelphia. So I'm happy we were able to
to finally get this done. For a while, I was trying to figure out what would be the best technique just to use like these three colors with. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop tilting and we will cover these pieces up with just some black. Looks like I'm gonna have to mix more black tomorrow. I'm trying to really get into being comfortable with leaving um, some of whatever the negative space is. Actually, I'm excited. I want to do a piece and it's going to have like a green black is going to be the negative space. I'm not sure how much should be left, but um, I'm hoping in that piece because I think I'm going to go back to our um, gravy boat and the way that I would like the daughter or envision it, it is going to have negative space so what i'll do is i will uh touch it up and then i'll bring you down for a close-up hello here's the close-up starting in that left corner with the black with a splash of red and green. Um, I have to say, I really like the way this came out. It's not a lot of green, but I think that it is a nice um, splash of green, if you will. I like the two reds in there. I think they complement one another, one of them being lighter and darker. It'll be interesting to see how it dries, though. As you can see, we have cells, we have lacing, so overall, I think that this was a good color combination um, and I like the outcome of it. Thank you for your time and watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. For those who have, I thank you and appreciate you. And until we meet again, cheers to painting.